Oh yeah. Oh, we can touch his chest. That's weird, but let's do it. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and click the bell to turn on notifications so you never miss a video. Hey guys, and welcome back to the next part of Love Life on episode. Well, hello, some paparazzi. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Why do I keep bumping into people today? What is going on? Buzz, buzz. New message from your future boss. Okay, I didn't know I had a job. Don't forget to bring coffee. It's my first day. I can't mess this up. Straight into the coffee shop. Ethan? I haven't seen him since the night is picnic. Awkward. Yummy. Hi. OMG, what do I do? Be cool and pretend everything is normal. Ease the tension with a joke or give him the cold shoulder. Let's just pretend everything's normal. Because we were friends and that sucks that she made him not talk to me anymore. <laughs> Ethan, great to see you. Really? I was worried you might be angry with me. You know, about the whole thing with Sydney? When she said you weren't allowed to hang out with me, I figured she was exactly exaggerating. Exactly, she was upset and I didn't tell her you were moving in and anyway, I'm sure she'll forget about it all soon enough. Sure, it was great running into you Ethan, but I've actually got to go to my first day of work at the magazine. That's great Yami. Thanks, I'm pretty excited. Look, there's a lot we should probably talk about. Why don't you let me give you a ride to work in my town car? That way you'll be early to your first day and we'll get a chance to talk. Just you and me. The car's parked right out front. That's the last straw, Funtis. You're fired. Oh yeah? Well, screw you too. Noah works here. At least, he did. This isn't good. He needs this job. He can barely support himself. And he's been sending his sister checks to help her out for the last two years. I had no idea. Yeah, you wouldn't. Noah's too proud to complain. Uh-oh. Here he comes. Oh, hey guys. What's up? Oh, hey Noah. Nothing much. Are you okay? Or what did you do? Let's ask him if he's okay. That sounded so awful. I'll figure something out. Don't worry about me, Yami. I hated this job anyway. I mean, anyone who'd fire someone for giving day-old bagels to homeless people isn't someone I want to work for. That's why you got fired? And they just get thrown away at the end of the day anyway. I'm so sorry, Noah. That's horrible. Hey, don't worry about it. Running into you just turned my whole morning around. Aww. Oh, he's so sweet. Oh right, it's your first day at your new job. Yep, that's right. You're gonna kill it, Yami. The last thing I wanna do is go back to the apartment and hang out alone all day. Sorry, man. I'd hang out with you, but I have to help my mom with something today. Actually, I was kinda hoping I could hang with Yami for a while. There's something about you that's so comforting. Like, I can really tell you care about me. I could really use that vibe today. Do you have any time, Yami? I'm too broke to pay for a cab, but I could walk you to work. It's a beautiful day. We could even walk across the bridge. Actually, man, I was really I'm really hoping Yami and I could hash things out after what happened with Sydney. If you let me give you a ride to work, we can finally talk. Ethan and I have a lot to talk about, but poor Noah, he shouldn't be alone right now. Well, Yami, do you want to take a ride with me or soak up the sun on a walk with me? It'd be great to sort things out with Ethan, but Noah needs me and a walk across the bridge would be super romantic. Oh no, why do we have to choose? Okay, I think I'm going to go with Noah because we have a better chance at getting with him, seeing as though Ethan already has a girlfriend. A walk actually sounds great, Noah. Seriously, that's great. We can grab coffee somewhere else on the way. The poo that they serve here at this place is terrible. It's a plan. Okay, well, maybe we can talk later then. Sure. Later, man. Thanks for doing this, Yami. After the morning I had, I really needed some time with you. Oh, he's so cute. Let's say, oh, you need me. <laughs> I didn't realize I'd made such a big impression. Yeah, well, I did find you in my bed the first time we met. And then there was a night on the roof. That left a pretty big impression too. Anyway, what I'm saying is, I'm really glad you're here. I've always loved this view. It might be my favorite in all of New York. We can cozy up for some selfies, snuggle up closer, or ask what he thinks about Ethan and Sydney. Ooh, let's go ahead and snuggle. I'm happy you're here too. I guess we should get back on our way. Or we could stay here all day. Being alone and being unemployed sucks, but if we both lost our jobs, I have a feeling we'd find ways to fill out time. Yeah, well, unfortunately, I'm super excited about this job. Yeah, well, maybe you're next job will suck. A girl can only dream. So, what are you gonna do now? I don't know. I need a job, obviously. But all I really want to focus on is my band. It's great that you're so passionate about it, I guess. But it's hard, too. We've been waiting a long time for our big break, but it always just feels like the timing isn't quite right. Well... I have faith in you. What's holding you back? Or do you think you'll go back on tour? Let's just say that we have faith in him. You're a smart, passionate guy. Not to mention devilishly handsome. My point is, it's only a matter of time till you break through. Thanks, Yami. I hope you're right. Hey, by the way, if you hear about any jobs that might be up my alley, would you let me know? Of course. I'm sure you'll find something, Noah. Thanks. For everything. 
for this whole morning for being here with me. Now, assuming you're not still down with skipping your first day to hang out with me, I guess we should get you to work. What is happening? <laughs> I'm so confused. That swimsuit, but on that model. Someone grab her the red bag. The brown is dreadful. Can't anyone do anything right today? I brought coffee. Thank gosh. Please tell me you're my new assistant. That's right, I'm yummy. In that case, you and I need to have a chat. Did I do something wrong? We get a lot of applicants at Love Life, yummy. And I must confess, your writing sample was the best I've ever seen. I'm excited to add your voice to our magazine and I never say that about assistants. Tell me, what do you think the future of love life should be? I think love life needs romance, naughty talk or more career advice. Well, if it's all about love life, let's say romance. Our roots are all about romance. That's what our readers are here for. We've been so obsessed with staying relevant. Maybe we should do more of what we've always done best. I'm impressed, Yami. I'd love to talk to you about this some more, but photo shoots always run on a tight schedule. One misstep and the whole day could be ruined. And one lost day throws off our whole month's schedule. Got it? Why is Oksana wearing her bathing suit backwards? Yami, you need to stick up to me like a shadow. Keep up. Raw talent isn't enough, Yami. You have to prove you belong here every day. Now walk like you belong. Ellen, you have a phone call. OMG, is that the mystery hottie from the VIP party at the spot? What the heck are you doing here? Excuse me? Let's ask him what he's doing here. Or did you run out of innocent girls to pick fights with? What? I mean, what are you doing here? The models are supposed to be in the gazebo getting changed. The models? OMG, he doesn't remember me. We should have a little fun with him. Mess him about a bit. It sounds like you're saying you think I'm hot. Of course you are. You're really not here to be in the shoot? I was sure. I'm yummy. I just started as Ellen's assistant today. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Austin, Love Life's art director. Art director? but you're so young. The youngest the magazine's ever had. It's a hard industry, but if you put the time in, you'll be on top of it in no time, Yami. I hope so. And if not, at least you can always fall back on modeling. Oh. Oh, he's been nice to us today. Very strange. Let's just say, you're so sweet. I'm relieved to meet such a nice guy on my first day here. I'm a whole lot more than nice. And I have a feeling you are too, Yami. Oh yeah? Oh, we can touch his chest. That's weird, but let's do it. Austin? Austin. Has anyone seen Austin? We'll have to continue this later. I don't mean to be rude, but you look like poo. Excuse Excuse me? No, I look comfortable. Who are you? And I care what you think. Why? Um, let's say who are you? We haven't met before. Isn't it obvious who I am? I'm Daniel Davis, editor-in-chief of Kingpin. Wait, Kingpin? Like the magazine about beers, babes, and bros? That Kingpin? Perhaps you mean Wolf Media's best-selling magazine? Far above love life. And now that Ellen is hiring people who think of leisure wear is fashion, I understand why. Miss Von Trapp? Come show this girl how assistants should dress. Sydney? <laughs> <laughs> what did I do in a past life to deserve a stalker as diabolically horrible as her? What are you wearing? Are you planning on running a marathon later? I'm dressed to work. No, just planning on running circles around you. Or even didn't seem to mind my outfit. Oh, that would be a burn. I'm gonna say that. <laughs> I ran into him this morning, you know. Yeah, right. Even knows better than to hang out with you. And not just because he wouldn't want to be seen next to an outfit like that. What are you doing here, Daniel? Other than harassing my assistant. At there are enough women for you to objectify over at Kingpin. I'm the only one who can tell my assistant what to wear. And before you even ask, no, you cannot date her. Now beat it. Still the same old Ellen. Always seeing me for the worst. Bye for now, ladies. Daniel is a class A butthead. I should know. I used to be with him, but he does have a point. Your look is all wrong. At Love Life, there's no such thing as casual. Even when you're running errands, you must bring your A-game. Christina! Christina's our stylist. You must be yummy. So great to meet you. Christina, I need you to give Yami a style that will make her and me look good. Easy. I've got just the thing. Oh, hello. This dress is cute. Am I good or am I good? You look fabulous, Yami. Now, this is a look that demands attention. Let's go take it for a spin, shall we? Oh, even the models are looking at how good I am. Chin up, Yami. In this business, confidence is key. You have to look the part. Who is she? I would love to get a few shots of that face and that look. Did you want to use a denim jacket or the leather bomber. Yami, what do you think? I think you should go with, ooh, the denim jacket is iconic or the leather bomber is on trend. Let's go with the leather. It's sophisticated and the leather is so in right now. Great, I'll let them know. In this business, the most important thing is having a voice. You have to know yourself and what you want. Once you do that, making tough calls is a breeze. Now, let's get the shoot going. Ellen, 
we have a problem. What sort of prop? The rock star we booked for the Song of Summer photo segment? Cancelled. Cancelled? But we need him. The whole concept depends on him. Unless we can find a replacement in the next 10 minutes. The whole spread will be ruined. Wait a minute. Noah could definitely fill in for the missing musician. Yami, your job is to solve my problems. This is a big problem. Please tell me you know a hot musician who can fill in for the shoot. The gig comes with a very generous fee. Actually, I do know someone. He is hot and available. Yami, if you save my butt, I owe you. Big time. This is perfect. Noah can save the shoot and make me look good. Save the day and score a gig for Noah. Yes, of course. You need a hot musician who can be here in a flash. And I've got just the guy. Oh, thank God. Let's get him down here. Good news. I'm hiring you for the day. Get to the pack, stat. Buzz buzz. Seriously? You're the best. See you on five. Well, Yami, where's this hot rock star friend of yours? Yami? Noah, hey. Wow, Yami. He's even hotter than you said. Glad to hear you sang my praises. Fantastic work, Yami. He is perfect. Now get him ready for the shoot. What? You want me to? You found the talent. You're his handler for the day. And if all goes well, you'll get a styling credit for the shoot. A styling credit? My name in Love Life magazine. On my first day of work. And all you've got to do is handle me. Don't worry. I'll go easy on you. Come on, Noah. It's time to make you look good. Really? Because according to your boss, I already look good. Ooh, some cute photos. Noah is looking gorgeous today. Nice. That, that's the magic shot. The chemistry between you two. We need to get that on film. Do you mind if I borrow your assistant, Ellen? Yami, what do you think? You want me to be in the photo shoot with Noah? Sure, yes. Anything to make Sydney jealous. Mwahaha. <laughs> I'm in. That's fantastic. Hop into the shoot, Yami. Now, what direction should we take? Yami, so far your instinct has been spot on. How do you think we should handle this shoot? Oh, okay. Let's try something sweet and romantic. Everyone loves a summer romance. I love it. Great. Serve us our sweetest look, you two. Oh, we look like a cute couple. Brilliant. I think we got it. All thanks to Yami. That's that's a wrap everyone. Thanks for bringing your A-game. I'd love to work with you again. Here's my card. You've got a real instinct for this, Yami. And your look is spot on for my fall look. I've got to have you back for that shoot. Love life is lucky we scooped Noah up before someone else did. I'll say. As his handler, you should be the one to give him the check when the fanfare dies down a bit. Hey. Seems like that went okay. Are you kidding? Ellen is over the moon. She loved you. Yeah, well, I think we make a good team. Oh, I almost forgot. I got you something. Oh, Noah, you shouldn't be spending money on me. You got me this job. It's just a little something to say thanks. And I'll be deeply offended if you don't accept it. Oh, it's earrings. They're beautiful. Where did you get them? There was a craft fair over by the footpath. I grabbed it during my exceptionally short break. Yeah, well, fashion magazines wait for no one. So, you like the earrings? things. I thought of you as soon as I saw them. I can help you put them on if you like. Oh, cute. Yeah, sure, we'll wear them. I love them, Noah. I can't wait to try them on. How do they look? They look perfect. Really? Speaking of perfect, you're officially killing it at your new job. I know, right? Can you believe it? I got a styling credit on my first day. Oh, heck yeah. I believe it. You're awesome, Yami. Thank you for getting me this job. I know you stuck your neck out for me, and it means so much, Yami. Okay, we can touch his chest again. <laughs> this time he's not wearing a shirt. Yami? OMG, I think he's about to kiss me again. <gasps> yes. Kiss. Oh my gosh. I hope Sydney sees this and gets mad. Also, I hope she sees this and knows that I'm not interested in Ethan anymore. Anyway, thanks again for today. Yami, could you come here for a moment, darling? I need your opinion on these photos. I guess I'd better go. See you at home? Definitely. You were wonderful, darling. Now all that's left is to pick the shots we want edited. I'm thinking this one, definitely. Hey, Christina, can I get your eye on something? Psst. I cannot believe this is my job. Are you seeing this, Sid? Ellen put her hottest model in a one-piece swimsuit. Know why that's a mistake? Duh, because being naughty sells. No one wants dating advice from some dried up one-piece wearing hag. Easy, Yami. You should be thanking me for the heads up. Ellen's clueless. She's going to drive this sinking magazine right into an iceberg. I advise you to jump ship while there's still time. Um, let's say get lost. No one asked you for your advice. That's the problem. I actually know what I'm doing, unlike your boss. I thought I told you to stay away from my assistant. I was just telling dear Yami here how the photo shoot should have gone if you actually knew what people wanted to see. Oh, and what's that, Daniel? Your infinite wisdom? Why don't you tell me how to run my own magazine? Well, since you asked, show us it. Oh no. What is that? That was a horrible photo. <laughs> see? That photo right there has been shared 3,000 times since Sid posted it two hours ago. What's everyone looking at? What is that? Kingpin's most prized accomplishment, apparently. Pretty hot, right? Are you kidding? It's completely sexist and degrading. It's sexy. 
And I was telling your editor, sexy cells. That is not sexy, it's creepy. Yami, tell him. Um, yes, take down Sydney, please. I've been wanting an opportunity to do this. That picture is anything but hip. Young, fresh, and up to date. If that's the best perspective Sydney can offer Kingpin, then I suggest you find a new assistant, Daniel. Your opinion here is irrelevant. The likes, shares speak for themselves, and they're clearly saying the picture is hot. Oh, please. Yami is right. That sexist Neanderthal who is so over. If your assistant didn't get the memo, OMG, Ellen agrees with me. Unlike your assistant, Daniel, mine actually lives in the 21st century. Yami, why don't you show them what a strong modern woman wants to see on social media? This one. Yes. I love that. That? You've got to be kidding me. Those women look like my neighbours, not supermodels. Exactly. Most women want to see themselves represented and not surrounded by a pack of men like a hunted gazelle. Right. This shot is what it's all about. Unity, representation and strength. You know what your problem is, Yami? You wouldn't know sexy if it bit you on the butt after clearance bin jeans. This post is so good, it's guaranteed to go viral. Ellen will love it. Not to mention, it'd be epic to clap back at Sydney. You know I'm right. That's why you aren't saying anything. Sydney's gonna flip when she sees my post go viral, clap back and post the picture. Oh yes, we are. Okay, Sydney, you seem pretty confident. Let's just see what happens. I'll post our image to Love Life social media. And if we haven't topped 3,000 likes in two hours, then I'll quit my job. Yummy, yummy. Don't you think that's overkill? Look, if I'm wrong about this, then maybe I'm not the right girl for this job. I have an instinct about this though. What? What is it, Sydney? This, this is impossible. Those numbers. You're at 500 already. Maybe you should refresh your feed, because mine shows 700. I don't understand. How could that picture pull these kind of numbers? It's going viral. We're at 1,100 shares now, Daniel. Would you like to sit here for another two hours and watch our picture destroy yours? Or shall we move on? Why don't we wait? I think we can spare the two minutes it will take to beast their post to a pulp. Way to go, Yami. And way to go, Ellen, on scoring such a fire assistant. An assistant whose viral social media post just hit 3,000 shares, by the way. Beginner's luck. No. Daniel. We at Love Life call that talent. We make sure our new hires have it. And now that we've proven our point, I'd like to remind you that this is a closed shoot, Daniel. You can't just barge on set to oogle the models, even if I do relish every opportunity to put you in your place. It's lucky that's not why I'm here then. Then why are you here? Because Claudia asked me to be here. Daniel, you didn't tell me Claudia Wolf, the president of Wolf Media, was going to be here. The president? Ellen's boss? What's wrong, Ellen? You seem nervous. I'm the editor-in-chief of Love Life. What do I have to be nervous about? Uh-oh. She seems like she's a big star. Shut it down, everyone. But, Claudia, we're in the middle of a shoot. Today's an important day, everyone. My son has finally decided to step up and join the family business. Ethan! Ethan, my man. Absolutely wonderful to see you. What brings you here? Other than to let us know you're coming on full board this time, that is. Ethan has an announcement to make. His first decision as a member of the Wolf Media team. After careful consideration, we've decided, I've decided, to shut down Love Life. Starting right now. <gasps> what? And guys, that is where today's part of episode has ended. So if you did enjoy it, do make sure to leave a like on the video. Let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. Hope you're all having a wonderful day and I will see you guys in the next one. Watch it go side to side, and don't forget she got that merch to buy.